Within the first five months of 2018, there were at least 21 school shootings where students were either hurt or killed. 62% of all mass shootings take place in small towns with a population of 100,000 people or less, and 87% of those small towns have a population of less than 50,000. We decided that we could make a change, that we could make a difference, something that will be able to provide us with those few precious moments in the event of an intruder. Our project is meant to give students and teachers more time in case of an emergency. Giving students and teachers more control of the situation, we believe our product can help not just in our hometown, but all across the nation. I'm Paige Taylor, and I'm the project lead. I'm Jonah Hoffman, and I'm the feasibility specialist. I'm Trey Fisher, the mechanical analyst. Let us just show you what we did. We built a one-piece intruder safety lock that keeps the door closed in the event of a door lock failure. We created a rapid prototype with a 3D printer that demonstrated the functionality of our design. But after talking to professionals and understanding different tolerances, we've been able to redesign our product, adding more curved angles which add strength and makes the machining process more efficient. I'm Ted DeWalt. I'm the general manager at the LMI Washington, Missouri plant. LMI Aerospace uh, provided the, the resources uh, and an employee to, to come help the, uh, the STEM program uh, and assisted in uh, designing, uh, assisted with design uh, drawing and uh, some prototype manufacturing. Schools have tried to prepare for these attacks by practicing intruder drills and adding security personnel. However, that is hardly enough as the annual number of school shootings are currently on the rise. Together, we designed, modeled, and created an intruder prevention mechanism. This device could be added to any existing door in a school, home, or office. The design appears simple, but its impact could be life-changing. I'm Officer Brent Finley with the Owensville Police Department. When someone's trying to gain access to it to a classroom, they first observe that the door is locked. Then they orient themselves to the fact that the door is locked, and they try to decide what their next plan of action is, say they try to break the lock. So once the lock is broken, now they have access to the classroom. With the device, once they get to the process of breaking the lock, they still can't gain access. So now they have to start this their loop all over again with observing now that the door is still locked and they still can't get in. Now he has to figure out a new course of action. We want to inspire change not only in the schools in our small town, but in schools around the world. We know that if we come together as one with our communities, students, and those that surround us, we can achieve our goal. Together we are innovating in hopes for a positive change, a change that will impact our schools and communities now and for generations to come. It is our hope that you will join us on this journey.